Thank you for calling KISS. My name is Spider. How can I help you today? Hello. My name is Fly. Help me. Please help me. Congratulations. Thank you for choosing KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. This is your personal troubleshooting video guide. You will find that most of your computer problems are software related. In the following video and guidebook, I will walk you through the steps needed to diagnose and maintain your computer's problems. We will work together on fixing and finding out just what is wrong with your computer. Learn quickly and easily the secret codes and hiding places inside your computer software. That's right! You can fix your personal computer through all of the software that is already installed. Some troubleshooting steps we will cover are What is the BIOS? Why we have a BIOS and how you can choose settings. Why you should start your computer in safe mode and what to do when you get there. What the heck is a system restore? Learn your antivirus software and the importance of basic weekly maintenance of your computer with just the click of your mouse. No toolkit required. Oh, for crying out loud, what's wrong with this doohickey thingamajig thing here? You will learn that there are five basic steps to follow. I cannot stress the importance of doing these steps in order. If you follow these steps in order, you will find that we will be successful in fixing your computer problems. You may find that we will only need to complete a few of these steps, or we may need to complete all of them. The last and final step is what we call the Big Bad System Recovery. This step is to be used as a last resort only, if all other steps fail. Please see Chapter 5 on the Big Bad System Recovery for more details. And I'm here to help you. My name is Spider. Before we get started, I would like to take a quick moment to tell you a little bit about myself and why I decided to create this troubleshooting video guide. I am a computer professional, and at one time or another, I was just as frustrated with my computer problems as you are today. Jeez, I'm an idiot! About seven years ago, I decided to do something about it. I went to school to learn all I could about my computer. Just because I don't have the answers to your questions, doesn't mean there aren't any. I became A-plus certified and have worked for over five years exclusively with people like you, helping them fix their own computers. <gasps> computers can do that? I then decided that the home and small business computer user could use my expertise. So the video and guidebook were created. I hope that you will find this an inexpensive, easy to understand, and effective way to help you troubleshoot your computer problems. Steps 1, 2, and 5 are used specifically if you are having a problem starting your computer. Such as, if you start your computer and it doesn't fully load to the desktop, with all of your icons showing, you have a problem. Or if you start your computer and there is a black screen with a white blinking cursor and nothing else happens, this would also designate a problem. If your computer starts with an error message saying no OS found or that you have a missing or corrupt file, you have a problem. You may also experience another problem when starting up your computer. You may see that your computer is automatically starting in what is called safe mode or the Windows XP startup menu appears. You would use these steps 1, 2, and 5 to correct any of these problems. 
If you are not experiencing any problems and just need to do weekly maintenance, please fast forward to steps 3 and 4. Steps 3 and 4 are done to improve system performance and weekly maintenance. Okay, now on to the good stuff.